All right, you sexy zombie mother lovers. I'm back with another episode of Alpha 20 uh, Horde Base Crafting uh, Testing, uh, or as I like to refer to it as, what could go wrong? Um, previous episode, uh, I made the floating base, which you see here. Uh, kind of went over how we actually go ahead and build that. Um, I did some work after uh, off video uh, based on some feedback from some users and some of my friends. And what I did is I basically completely filled in the, 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 the pit uh, with all concrete, which, you know, would kind of be the ultimate end game plan anyway. Um, I went ahead and added a generator and powered up some of these uh, spinning blade traps in here, put a little uh, switch on there. So we'll turn this on. Turn this on. Uh, you can see it put some walls in. Um, and these guys will spin. So basically the thought process is during Horde Night, um, you could come down here. There's a ladder that goes up basically to the surface. Uh, and that gives you the ability to get down here and loot. Um, the airlock doors are kind of going to prevent zombies from getting in. And then this uh, walkway all the way around, I put in a little shoot hole so you can, you know, fire upon zombies. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Basically, uh, if you're playing multiple players, uh, you know, you got some friends, maybe put some up there, put some down in the pit here, you know, see what happens. Um, Again, this is the, the pretty much the same design. I didn't change anything here, although I did notice something different that happened. Uh, and this is kind of where the what could go wrong portion comes into play. As I was digging out uh, down here to put in the walkway and the little uh, cubby, uh, I heard a bunch of noises and come to find out my base started to collapse as I cleared the path. So I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, it almost seemed to be because this was the bars that were around here. Uh, and if you go back to the previous video, which I'll link, um, when I built this, it basically was like a little prison on the roof that I could come up to and shoot my way, you know, shoot zombies, stuff like that. I don't know what happened. Um, logic in the game seems to have broken and the pieces are no longer being supported or something. I'm gonna try and see if, let's see if this holds up here. Uh, whoops, on face. Come on. If I'm, yeah, like that. So, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it collapsed. Um, it it started as I went through and was doing the uh, the clear um, underneath. So I don't know if because of like see how it shows red. Uh, it it's basically not supported exactly. See, so I think the funny thing is I think because I removed some of the foundation below. And the game seems to think that even though there's this gap here, um, these two are connected based on the, the, the mechanics of how the game works. It, it seemed to think that structurally when I cleared out this area down here for the little cubby and the shooty holes, it screwed with support all the way up here on the roof. So I, I, that's obviously something that's going to have to come into consideration. Um, I don't recall running into this on, uh, 18 or 19 when I make this, um, you know, one of the other options is I could do this and let's see if, see now these are showing white, so they are supported. And it might just be because now I've extended that support up with that column. See, this piece is not. I don't know if that's just something else going on. Uh, see? 
I, I don't know. As soon as I put, um, I, I'm not going to worry about it. I, I the, the intent of this video was actually going to be fairly quick. And it was going to see, um, I was going to put myself at a higher day, uh, like Horde Knight, maybe 14, maybe we'll go 21. Um, I've already leveled myself up. So I am now level 13. Um, my game stage is 24, so it's a little bit higher up than day 7 was. And I think I was like level 6 or 7. Uh, so the idea is to see how much more aggressive the zombies are with attempting to get to me in here, as well as if I was down below, and then see how well the traps do. Um, what I'm going to do is basically switch to day 21, let the zombies come in, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know, both up and above, and I'll come down here and see as well. Uh, I think what... I want to try is this is going to be a fairly short video once we go through this uh, and what I'll do is I'll link as well to the previous build video so you guys can see uh, if this is your first time here how I built this base uh, to float like this and I've actually got another change that somebody else recommended uh, to the same base design that I will put in a third video um, and then I've actually got some more base designs overall uh, different that I want to try that some other users gave me. So uh, let me go ahead and get this started here. We will set it to day uh, 20. You know what? Do I have to go to day 16? So you're only limited. So let's do this. Uh, why can I not go to the next day? What is this all about? Uh, really? Um... Huh, okay, so we'll do set, hold on a sec, let me see, because there is a command, I can pull it up here, uh, but basically what I want to do is, um, I, you know, with the series, I want to build out a base, either based on something I've seen, uh, videos, Reddit posts, whatever, uh, you know, maybe put my own twist on it, whatever works to see how functionally they work. Uh, you know, have you guys submit, put in the comments section, uh, let me know, you know, hey, what uh, what you might like to see, what you've tried, what you'd like to see tried. Uh, you know, if you've got some outlandish ideas, I can see if we can craft them, uh, see what happens, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, so let's do this, set time, day, hour, minute. So it's going to be, uh, okay, so we'll do set time 20, we'll do 9, 21.59, uh, wrong number of arguments, expected one or three, found two, uh, day, hour, oh, psh, okay, hold on. My bad, 2159, uh, 2150. Okay, so basically, yeah, so let's do this. Let's get my gun back. Uh, go here. Grab some shotgun shells. And again, I am running through this in uh, God mode when I build this, when I design, stuff like that. Uh, the goal is to see if when I do this in actual survival mode, uh, basically turn off God mode, uh, how well this works for me. Um, I'm going to arm myself as if I had, uh, you know, come to my horde base to, to kind of go through the night and see what happens. Uh, all right, so let's see. So we want day 21 at 21.58. So this is Horde Night. Doors closed. Uh, what I'm going to do is go down into here. Going to close these. And I'm going to turn this on. We'll go up here and see. 
So clearly the blades are working well enough. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's my fault. Um, we can clearly see them being killed. So it does seem like the, uh, the blades are working well. Uh, now the design down here is a little different because they're not spaced evenly. So there is like an open space over here. There's some open spaces over there. Um, let me go down and see. So if I'm down here and the, uh, the zombies are, you know, falling on the pit, I could shoot at them. I do have a uh, ability to shoot through here. Uh, I'm way encumbered. This basically lets me. God, they're taking a lot of damage. That's loud. Holy cow! Um, again, it's pretty, pretty uneventful. Day 21, so they are a little bit more aggressive. I do have Feral Sense on, and this is set to the highest uh, uh, level of insane difficulty, I believe, or Nightmare. Insane, I think, is what it's called. Um, turn down the volume here a little bit for you. Yeah, so there it's working. I mean, this design works fairly well. Now, I don't think I have any feral zombies. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got pigs, cops to explode. Um, let me go out here and see what's out here. Now, these are all regular zombies that are coming in right now. So, they are working pretty well. Um, the walls are taking a little bit of a beating. I'll give him that. Um, the door looks like it's taken a little bit of damage. Let's go up here and see what... Uh... <clears throat> yep, so the wall is still working the way we expect it to. Uh, the walls themselves look like they're taking a little bit of damage. Uh, this door took a little bit. Um, now, what I did up here is I basically put a bulkhead uh, that goes down. So if I'm down in the pit, down here, the thought process is they're all going to fall down. And they're trying to beat on that door to get to me, obviously. So if I've got multiple people down here, I'm down here by myself, I can clearly shoot at them. Um, they're still dropping pretty easy. Again, this is only day 21, so it's a relatively early horde night. Uh, I don't seem to have any ferals, any bad zombies yet, but... Let's go see what the uh, wall looks like with this door. Yeah, I mean, it's taking damage. This one by the door is clearly doing its job. Yeah, I mean... Oh, so this one took damage. So this one's just damaged. Um... Okay, so that could pose a problem to the door eventually. Um, yeah, clearly it's uh, it works. I mean, functionally, it seems to hold up. Um,
Actually, all of these hits me. All of these are. This one's out. Uh, <clears throat> I see. So as it hits people, the quality goes down to the point where it stops at 500. Okay. So clearly these are all going to need to be repaired after a night like this. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I was worried that maybe something would get hung up on these if they fall uh, down onto this, like this. But clearly that didn't help or, or happen. So it seems to be a non-issue. But um, I think overall this was a good success. Uh, like I said, I will go ahead and link to the previous video uh in this series which explains how i went through the build uh how i built the whole floating base there's some timestamps in there to give you an idea um and then i'm going to work on the next iteration of some suggestions that a user gave me uh and i will come back with another video for you guys to uh see how well those changes work so again i appreciate you guys come by i uh, appreciate you if you're uh new here to, uh, you know, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped you out, give you some insight, some idea, uh, some things to think about. And if you're an existing uh, viewer, appreciate you coming back and uh, helping support me. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody.